Chrome OS Flex. Boy, where do I begin? Well, it starts with Ubuntu. I had Ubuntu installed on this machine and it was running fine until I ran some updates. I rebooted to a dummy output. Are we talking about me or the software? I thought, okay, fine. Let me just run some terminal commands. I'll fix it, reboot. Couldn't fix it. All right, fine. I'll reinstall the freaking system. Dummy output. Word of advice for Linux developers. If you're trying to impress on Windows users that Linux is better than Windows, dummy output doesn't make you look good. It's just a thought. So I, I installed Chrome OS Flex as a full install, first time on a desktop. One of my backup machines, a 10-year-old gateway. And I have to tell you, this is a Linux gold standard because well, I have sound for one thing, sound and video. All jokes aside, everything just works. I don't recall ever a time with my Chromebooks, don't recall ever a time having to go into the terminal to fix something, reinstall something, something broke, a bug, a glitch, not a single time. Now, Chrome OS Flex, which you see here, is free to install. It's only certified on a certain number of machines. Now, I wanted to install the Linux environment, the Linux virtual environment on this to install Linux apps. I can't do it. But from what I read, that's only certified for certain machines that Google certifies to run Chrome OS Flex. This is one of them. That was disappointing, but that's okay. The rest of the system works. Navigating through this is a breeze. There's nothing here to confuse you, to make you think, why did I do this? It just It's just not here. And really, again, the only disappointment here is I could not turn on the Linux development environment to install other Linux apps, such as OBS Studio, Kden Live, and some others that I would normally install in Ubuntu or Ubuntu-based systems. But Nothing I can do about that. The core system works great. Here we're looking at the resolution here. I set it to 1920 by 1080. Instant scaling, small to large, love this. There's no rebooting to this, it just works. It doesn't slow down the system. Simple for a Windows user, for a newbie to navigate, to use something like this. Very, very easy. Scroll down to about Chrome OS, it gives you the official build, you can check for firmware updates. Again, there's nothing here to, to confuse you or to trick you or anything like that. It just feels, it's a natural workflow as opposed to the GNOME desktop environment that's in Ubuntu that really without the appropriate GNOME extensions has to be one of the most horrendous desktop environments a after using it for a certain number of years, the, the, one of the worst for newbies to the world of Linux. Now with the proper extensions, it's fine. Here we're looking at the stable channel. You can change it to beta, developer, unstable. If you are more adventurous, I just kept it on the stable channel because I don't want any more surprises using a Linux-based system. The file manager, it doesn't get any simpler than this. My files, recent, downloads, music. I created a music folder just by right-clicking and renaming, just like you would in a different Linux system. I dual boot this with, with, with Linux Mint, by the way, and, and I'm able to access, access the Linux Mint partition so I can drag files back and forth. That's great. I could not dual boot this with Windows 11. That was a disappointing thing too, but I was told you can't do it. That's all right. I don't really need to use Windows 11 that much. I'm happy with this for sure and other Linux systems. Again, this is very easy to navigate through, as you see here. Nothing here to trick you or surprise you. This has a built-in screen recorder with sound, if you want to record sound. It just works. This is just a joy to install. It takes about five minutes to install, at least on my system. A quad-core system, just eight gigs of RAM. Nothing fancy. It just works. The Chrome Web Store, this is what I would go, you would go to install some applications. I installed uh, something here called the Bit Browser, which I will show you here in a second. Uh, just something different besides the Chrome Browser. There's nothing wrong with the Chrome Browser. It works the way it should. 
media controls. I enjoyed. Uh, I installed the Enjoy music player. A great name. Bottom left, the search. The quick launch to search for your applications. Here's an app here, Google Calendar, which I'm sure you have used before and whatever operating systems you are using. Again, some of this should look somewhat familiar if you're always on the web, which is probably the entire population of the world. At this point, I would imagine you have light and dark themes. You can set this to where it's light during the day, dark at night, as you would in other systems here. And yeah, very, very easy to use. This, this, this is fast. This is snappy. This is how Linux should be. No surprises, especially with no sound. That, that was so disappointing. Here's the bid browser. You know, I felt like Ubuntu broke my heart. I felt like in The Godfather Part Two, when Michael Corleone walks up to brother Fredo and says, Fredo, you broke my heart. You broke my heart. Ubuntu, you broke my heart. But there are other Ubuntu-based systems I can use that are fine and I'm happy with. But look, if you're new, start with this. It's free. Install it. Even if your system, even if your computer is not officially certified, it may work. It does for me. It doesn't do everything I want to do. For example, there is no Google Play Store for this. The Linux environment, virtual environment, cannot install on this machine. But that's okay. You know, I'm just happy this works the way it should. This has got to be, as I snap the windows on and off, the fastest operating system I have ever used. That I've messed with Mac, Windows, different Linux systems, Chrome OS Flex and Chromebooks. If you want pure speed, like in Top Gun, the need for speed, and no surprises, no maintenance, no bugs, this is it. I really cannot think of anything better and I'm very very happy with this and the ability to dual boot with Linux Mint or, or whatever other Linux I want to install is a nice plus again I could not dual boot with Windows 11 for whatever reason it's not compatible to do that maybe it's because my machine is not certified that's okay I have a I have my Dell with Windows if I have to use Windows for whatever reason but it's nice to dual boot with this on two separate drives by the way two separate SSDs Guys, what else can I say? This is where you should start if you are new or if you've never tried Chrome OS Flex or Chromebook, you should. You will be amazed. And if you are a Windows user that you've tried Linux before and you say it sucks because of bugs, you need to stop that right now. Try this first and then let me know what you think. Chrome OS Flex and you Linux gold standard. Check it out.